Great day everyone! This is group 3 and in this video, we will be discussing simple interests. Now what is simple interest? Our today's goal is explain simple interests, understand simple interest formula, compute simple interest formulas, and solve simple interest problems. Simple interest is a quick and easy method of calculating the interest charge on a loan. It is determined by multiplying the yearly interest rate by the principal by the number of years that elapse between payments. This type of interest usually applies to automobile loans or short-term loans, although some mortgages use this calculation method. Generally, simple interest paid or received over a certain period is a fixed percentage of the principal amount that was borrowed or lent. Simple interest is interest calculated on the principal portion of a loan or the original contribution to a savings account. In simple terms, simple interest is calculated from the original loan in which is the principal depending on the rate and the time that it had been given. So simple interest is a quick and easy method to calculate an interest charge on a loan. Such interest is solved by multiplying the principal amount of such loan to the yearly interest rate and the time elapsed by year. After the term of the loan or investment, the maturity value or future value is computed by getting the sum of the principal and the interest due. Key takeaways. Simple interest is calculated by multiplying the yearly interest rate by the principal by the number of years that elapse between payments. Simple interest benefits consumers who pay their loans on time or early each month. Auto loans and short-term personal loans are usually simple interest loans. Fun fact, interest is the cost of borrowing money. Typically expressed as a percentage, it amounts to a fee or extra charge the borrower pays the lender for the finance sum. When you make a payment on a simple interest loan, the payment first goes toward that month's interest and the remainder goes toward the principal. Each month's interest is paid in full so it never accrues. In contrast, compound interest adds some of monthly interest back onto the loan. In each succeeding month, you pay new interest on old interest. Rate formula Interest rate is equals to simple interest times 100 divided by principal times time. Time formula Time equals interest divided by principal times rate. The formula for simple interest is simple interest equals P times R times T wherein P is principal. The principal is the amount that was initially borrowed from the bank or invested. The principal is denoted by P. R is the rate of interest in percent per annum. Rate is the rate of interest at which the principal amount is given to someone for a certain time. The rate of interest can be 5%, 10%, or 13%, and etc. The rate of interest is denoted by R. The rate of interest is in percentage R% percent and is to be written as R divided by 100. And T is the time, usually calculated as the number of years. Time is the duration for which the principal amount is given to someone. Time is denoted by P. Amount. When a person takes a loan from a bank, he or she has to return the principal borrowed plus the interest amount. And this total return is called amount. Amount equals principal plus simple interest. Here are some examples of simple interest. Example number one. Michael's father had borrowed $1,000 from the bank and the rate of interest was 5%. What would the simple interest be if the amount is borrowed for one year? The given principal amount is $1,000, rate of interest 5%, or 5 divided by 100. In order to get the simple interest, we must substitute the formula with the given numbers in the problem. The formula for simple interest is P times R times T. Equal B, 1,000 times 5 times 1 divided by 100, then 5,000 times 1 divided by 100, then 5,000 divided by 100 is equal to 50. Using the formula of simple interest, we must substitute it with the given wherein P is 1,000, R is 5%, and T is 1. We will multiply all of this together and we will get 5,000. Then we will divide it by 100 and therefore the simple interest if the amount is borrowed for one year is 50. Now we can also prepare a table for the above question adding the amount to be returned after the given time period using the formula of the amount which is amount equals principal plus simple interest. 1000 plus 50 is equals to 1050. Example number 2. 
Robert purchased a car worth $48,000. He borrowed the money from the bank at 10% per annum for a period of 4 years. How much amount he has to pay after the period? The principal value for the car is $48,000. The rate of interest is 10% and the time period given is 4 years. In this problem, we are going to find the amount. We need to use the formula A equals P, open parenthesis 1 plus RT close parenthesis, where P is 48,000, rate is 10% or 10 divided by 100, and T is 4. We will substitute it where 48,000 times 1 plus 10 divided by 100 times 4. Then 48,000 times 1 plus 2 divided by 5. Then 48,000 times 7 divided by 5. And the answer is $67,200. Therefore, Robert has to pay $67,200. Example number 3. If Maria borrowed a sum of $46,500 for a period of 21 months at 20%, how much simple interest will she pay? For this problem, we are going to look for the simple interest wherein principal amount is $46,500, the rate of interest is 20% or 0.2, the time period given is 21 months or 1.75 years. Using the formula for interest, I equals P times R times T. So 46,500 times 0.2 times 1.75. And the answer is $16,275. Therefore, Maria is going to pay $16,275. Example number 4. Ariel takes a loan of $8,000 to buy a used truck at the rate of 9% simple interest. Calculate the interest to be paid for the loan amount. In this problem, we are going to calculate the simple interest wherein principal is $8,000, rate is 9% or 0.09, it is expressed as a decimal, and time is 1. Using the formula for simple interest equals P times T times R, 8,000 times 1 times 0.09. And the answer is 720. Therefore, the annual interest to be paid is $720. Example number 5. If Louis paid a total of 438,000 pesos on the money he borrowed from Yutong made 2 years ago at 10% simple interest, how much did Louis borrow originally? P equals A divided by 1 plus RT where P is principal amount, A total amount, R rate, T time. 438,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10 times 2, and the answer is 365,000 pesos. Therefore, Louis originally borrowed 365,000 pesos from Yutong. Here, we are going to find the principal or the amount of money that Louis borrowed. With that formula, we are going to solve for the principal. But before that, we will change the rate into a decimal by dividing it by 100. Next is divide 430,000 to the sum of 1, and the product of the rate and time. And therefore, Louis originally borrowed 365,000 pesos from Yutong. Example number 6. Angela borrowed $120,000 from Johnson. If Angela agreed to pay an 8% interest rate, calculate the amount of interest she must pay if the loan period is A, 1 year, B, 9 months, C, 1 year and 6 months. Solution A. 1 year. P is equal to 120,000. Rate is equal to 0 0.08. Time is equal to 1 year. Simple interest formula is equal to P times T times R. Interest is equal to 120,000 times 1 times 0 0.08. The answer is $9,600. Now, we are going to find the amount of interest Angela will pay Johnson in a year. Finding the interest is simple, just like its name. You just multiply the principal, time, and the rate. After calculating, we now know that Angela will pay $9,600 in one year. 9 months. P, 120,000. Rate is equal to 0 0.08. Time equals 9 months. Simple interest is equal to E times T times R. I is equal to 120,000 times 9 divided by 12 times 0 0.08. I is equal to 120,000 times 0 0.75 times 0 
I is equal to $7,200. Just like the first one, we're still going to find the interest but with a different time. Using the same formula, we are going to find the amount of interest Angela will pay Johnson in 9 months. Multiply the principal, time, and the rate. If the time is given in months, we will divide the number of months by 12 since there are 12 months in a year. The answer is $7,200, and therefore, Angela will pay an interest of $7,200 in 9 months. C. 1 year and 6 months. P is equal to 120,000. Rate is equal to 0 0.08. T is equal to 1 year and 6 months. 1 year and 6 months is equal to 18 months. Simple interest is equal to P times T times R. I is equal to 120,000 times 16 divided by 12 times 0 0.08. I is equal to 120,000 times 1.5 times 0 0.08. I is equal to $14,400. Again, the same as the second and first, we are going to find the amount of interest Angela will pay Johnson in one year and six months. Multiply the principal, time, and rate. Therefore, Angela will pay an interest of $14,400 in one year and six months. Example number seven. Layla borrowed 5,000 pesos with an interest rate of 10%. What is the simple interest after eight months? What is the maturity value after eight months? P, 5,000. R is equal to 10% or 0.1. T, eight months. Simple interest formula, P times T times R. I is equal to 5,000 times 8 times 0.01. I is equal to 4,000 pesos, interest after 8 months. In here, we're still looking for the simple interest. Multiply 5,000, 8, and 0.01. And now we have the interest of 4,000 pesos in 8 months. Maturity value. Amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. A is equal to 5,000 plus 4,000. Amount is equal to 9,000 pesos. After 8 months, the money will become 9,000 pesos. Now we are going to solve for the maturity value. Simply add the principal and the interest, and after 8 months, the money will become 9,000 pesos. Rate formula. Interest rate equals simple interest times 100 divided by principal times time. Example number 8. If Nicole lends $2,500 to her cousin and received $3,000 after a year, using the interest rate formula, find what is the interest rate Nicole used to lend the money to her cousin. In this problem, we are going to find the interest rate where the givens are principal amount is equal to $2,500, simple interest equal to $3,000 minus $2,500 equals $500, time is equal to one year. Using interest rate formula, interest equals simple interest times 100 divided by principal times time. Interest rate is equal to 500 times 100 divided by 2,500 times 1. It's equal to 50,000 divided by 2,500. Interest rate is equal to 20%. Therefore, Nicole will take a 20% interest rate from her cousin in a year. Example number 9. What is the interest rate on principal amount $20,000 in 3 years if the simple interest is 5,000? Using simple interest rate formula, interest rate equals simple interest times 100 divided by principal times time. The interest rate of a given amount can be expressed as interest rate equals simple interest times 100 divided by principal times time. Interest rate is equal to 5,000 times 100 divided by 20,000 times 3, which is also equal to 500,000 divided by 60,000. Interest rate is equal to 8.3%. Therefore, the interest rate is 8.3. Time formula. Time is equal to interest divided by principal times rate. Example number 10. Find the time when the principal is $2,500, interest is $500, and the rate is 4%. Using the formula of time, time is equal to interest divided by principal times rate. 500 divided by 2,500 times 4. 500 divided by 10,000 is also equal to 0 0.5. Therefore, the time is 0 0.5 years, which is also equivalent to 6 months. Remember, the mind is just like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets, the more it can expand by Edu Koyanikan. Thank you for listening to our discussion. Please like and subscribe for more.